Yeah, I would not believe what this wig looked like prior to me putting it on my head. Okay, if you want to see it, stay tuned. But before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you have access to all my content all the time. Okay, all right, so I'll see you in a few. So I just want to give you guys a close up of this wig that we're going to be rehabbing today because she is a mess. She is a mess, y'all. Anyway, but look at her. She is stressed. She's been fried, dyed, laid to the side. She's losing her hair. She's lost her hair. You know, she's just been, you know, really, really put through the ringer. Okay. Now let's turn into the inside of the wig cap. Like the wig cap has holes in it. Um, we have, you know, it's uh, just like the regular dome caps. The elastic is gone. This elastic band has no more stretch. It's just, it's just a lot. But the bundles themselves still look pretty good. And so that is why we're going to be rehabbing this today. I don't know if y'all could see all these bundles. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right, so let's do look, look at these bundles they still look really good the hair is still in really good quality I believe this hair is from Rosa Beauty the but the frontal is from Rosa Beauty too um, but yeah she still the hair still looks pretty good so we're gonna be rehabbing this wig today and giving her some new life and making her feel like herself again okay this is like extreme wig makeover so let's talk a little bit about the closure that we're going to be putting into this wig um, this is a an 18 inch body wave um, 4x4 lace closure that is in the shade 613 um, I figured that it would probably be best to put in a blonde closure instead of dyeing the closure to match the hair so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna tone it so that we can get um, it to the same color as the wig hair and then we are going to um, dye the whole head uh, ultralight ash blonde, ultralight sun blonde, and ultralight sun blonde. I also have some other blondes that I used before that I just want to get rid of, so I'm going to be mixing that in. So it's really probably going to be a custom color. Uh, but you know, we like using red blonde color, so it's really easy to use. So let us get started. So first things first, we're taking the tracks off the wig cap. I'm just gonna use these scissors and cut off the thread. It's really easy, especially since I don't always go through the weft, I go under the weft, so I could pull most of it off. These wefts are still in really, really good condition, so I'm really excited about that. Next, we are going to lift the hair all to a very light blonde. Um, you can see that this has a black closure in, but I ended up taking that out and putting in the blonde closure because it was just too much work and I was like, you know what? Mm, no, we're not gonna do that. All right, so now that everything is lifted, I'm going to go in and do the cut. I want this to be an angular bob. So first I'm going in and making sure that everything is even all the way around. And then I'm gonna section it off in some layers to give it that angular bob shape. So you're gonna see me separate the back. Then I'm going to find the center of that back piece and cut in a downward angle from the middle of the nape of the neck to the air. I hope that makes sense um, and I'm just gonna keep doing that for each section until I get to the top so that everything is nice and even and everything is nice and angled and you want to make sure that you cross check your work so that the outer edges are even we do want this to be an angled bob but we don't want it to be asymmetrical all right so after I finish cutting I'm going to go in with the new closure and tone it the T27 is going for the roots, the T18 is going for the ends, and I'm going to use a 20 volume developer. I actually ended up overtoning this, so some parts of it were purple, but I was able to get that out with the dye that we used um, coming up soon. So right now I'm putting down the 27 all on the roots. I'm gonna do this throughout the whole entire head. 
I'm gonna try and get as much orange out of the top of the wefts as possible, but I still want them to be darker, so that's why I'm using the T27. And then I'm gonna go back in with the T18 to get that ashy blonde color on the ends. And we're just gonna do that throughout the whole head. And I believe I left this on for like 30 minutes. Cause I saw that the front was turning purple and I was like, mm, we don't want that. Now we're going to color it. I have um, a rat tail comb here and I'm just going in and out of the section that I have. I'm gonna split it in two. And the bottom section will have the sun blonde color on the ends and the top section will have the ash blonde color on the ends. It's still very, very, very light. We are going to um, use these same colors all over the rest of the hair, and then we're going to try to match them as good as possible. I actually ended up using some other colors that I'm gonna show you at the end. I didn't actually end up filming that because I didn't know if it was gonna work, and so I was just like, I don't feel like, you know, filming because what if it doesn't work? Then I'm gonna have to, you know, do something else. But it, it ended up working, so I'll just let you guys know what I used at the end. So I literally just did that through the whole entire head. Um, I sectioned it into big sections and then split that in two, did sun blonde on one section and the ash blonde on another. Except in the back where I used the darker shades of blonde. It was the dark ash blonde and the dark blonde from Revlon Color Silk. Um, and so I used those in the back so that we have the darker colors on the bottom. And then as we go higher and higher, we have the lighter colors. Now I'm just going to go in with this um, blow dryer brush and blow it out. This hair looks so good. I believe I lifted it about three or four times and it was dyed like three or four times and it is still intact. I feel like that just shows you that a five-year-old wig from Rosa Beauty, um, like their bundles are pretty good because like the hair, it still looks good. It's not like fried dyed or anything. It still has shape, still has movement, it still is light. It's, it just looks really, really good. Anyway, um, I went in, I blow dried it, and when you see it, it's going to be after I went back and threw and flat ironed it. Now usually I air dry my units after I wash them, but I have been working on this bob for so long. I wanted to see what the color looked like right then, and I could not wait. So it took me about 30 minutes to blow dry this whole thing out. Um, and I actually really, really, really liked the results. And you guys will see it in a little bit. Oh, uh, after I blow dried it, I flat ironed it, and then I went back in with my scissors and tightened up the shape. All right, y'all, here is the wig. She's finally finished. This wig took forever. Ash Blonde ain't no joke. She's nobody to be played with, okay? I really had to coax the color out of and into this hair, okay? So I really wanted this wig to look like, you know, like when white people have blonde hair and they go in the sun or they go in the water and they can get them little streaks in it. Some be white, some be yellow, some be dark brown, some be, you know, I wanted it to look like that. And I think I really, I did a good job of achieving it. If you take a cross section and look at it, I think that I did a pretty good job of keeping the darker parts at the bottom and then it gets lighter at the top to this uh, really bright blonde streak um, in the front. I really, really like it. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's curled. I can't wait to wear this out. I think this is a really, really, really nice unit. I was super scared about that closure because I had never heard of that um, company before. And I was like, oh, they're gonna send me some plastic. But this closure is the bomb. It is thick. It takes color really what well. like you, it says on the package, don't use box color and you don't use box color. You need like a professional level um, color. So after you saw me tone it, I put the um, darker colors up at the roots and then use the lighter colors like down here. However, 
that didn't really work. So what I did was I went to Sally Beauty and I got medium blonde because that matched the back um, of this hair for the, um, like that matched the ends. And then I mixed copper, light copper blonde and light copper brown together to get the roots so that the roots could match the roots that were in the black pieces because no matter what I tried, the other blondes that were darker that I had used um, in my honey blonde unit, it would not take to this. So once I got these ion colors from Sally and I um, mixed them together, this is how we got this beautiful ashy brown reddish blonde color um, at the roots. So um, I just, I'm just here to tell you that ash blonde ain't no joke. It's not a joke at all. <laughs> This unit humbled me, it really did. Um, I really thought like, okay, yeah, I'm just about to, you know, make a blonde unit, turn a black unit blonde and it's gonna be fine, but no. In order to get it to look good, you gonna need you gonna you gonna need some elbow grease, okay? So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you can be a part of the Glam Fam and know exactly when I upload. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Glamazon1026. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.